Alia Fox is the High Performance Knowledge Graph and Semantic Reasoner, and in this video we'll show you how to download it and start it in the terminal, both for Windows and for Mac. If you already have Alia Fox up and running, then this video is not for you. If you'd like to start using it in the terminal or in the web console, then check out our other videos like the Getting Started Guide. All the relevant links are in the description below. All you'll need to follow along with this tutorial is an Alia Fox license, which you can request for free on our website. Once you have your license, make sure it's in a location that's easily accessible, and then head to the website oxfordsemantic.tech forward slash downloads and download the most appropriate version for you. Once downloaded, move the file onto your desktop or desired location and unzip it. You can then delete the zip version. Now, simply move the Alia Fox license inside the file that you've just unzipped. What's crucial is that you make sure that the Alia Fox executable and license are both within the same folder. Next, right click the Alia Fox executable, select properties and find the file path. Highlight it and copy it. Close that window and go down to the search bar and search for PowerShell. Once there, enter the command cd, open quotes, then paste your file path, close quotes. Then hit enter and now type the command full stop forward slash rdfox dot exe sandbox. And just like that, you've started up rdfox in sandbox mode. The story on Mac is much the same. First, make sure you have an Audio Fox license readily available, then go to oxfordsemantic.tech forward slash downloads and download the most appropriate version for you. Once downloaded, unzip the file and delete the zip version. Now, move the Audio Fox license to the file that you've just unzipped. It's very important that you make sure that the Audio Fox executable and license both sit within the same file. Once there, Right click the file path at the bottom and select new terminal of folder. This automatically opens a terminal at your directory. Now type the command full stop forward slash rdfox sandbox. And just like that, you've started an instance of rdfox in sandbox mode. 